a very good morning children today we are going to take chapter 5 rocks and minerals as you know children earth surface is entirely made up of rocks that is why it is called as a rocky planet rocks are natural non living solid substances which are composed of minerals in this chapter children we are going to learn about three types of rocks that is igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks now what are igneous rock children when deep inside the earth there are large pockets of hot molten rock which is called as magma when the tremendous pressure inside the earth causes magma to move upward and it is towards the surface of the earth which is called as lava when this magma or lava cools down and it hardens to form the igneous rock now what are the different types of igneous rock let's talk about one by one intrusive igneous rock when magma cools down slowly below the earth surface it forms igneous rock this happens over thousands of years it takes thousands of years to become this rock as magma cools slowly it forms crystal for example granite granite is extremely hard and durable we can commonly see in the kitchen counters which are made up of granite now extrusive igneous rock when magma reaches the surface of the earth usually as volcanic lava it cools and hardens quickly to form igneous rock for example basalt pumice and obsidian as you can see in the picture also the extrusive rock which is formed on the surface and intrusive which is formed under the ground now let's talk about sedimentary rocks now how sedimentary rocks are formed children sand clay rocks fragments are carried by wind or water into the water bodies they sink to the bottom and sediments over time multiple layers of the sediment accumulate one over the other the layers on the top compress the bottom layer and the continuous pressure over thousands of years cements the bottom layer together and when then this harden forms the rock so the rocks formed when the extreme pressure over thousands of years hardens a layer of sediments is called sedimentary rocks now let's learn about the different types of sedimentary rock there are conglomerate sandstone shale and limestone let's learn about one by one conglomerate are the made up of large round rock fragments such as pebbles gravel and boulders conglomerate is generally used in the construction industry now sandstone sandstone is made of sand grains it is composed mostly of quartz it's a soft stone sandstone are resistant to saline air which makes them perfect for building exterior portion of sea shore buildings red fort qutb minar are some famous monuments built with sandstone now shale shale is made up of hardened layer of fine particles of clay and slate it is used to make cements and bricks now limestone limestone forms the accumulation of shells of dead sea creature the main mineral in limestone is calcite chalk is a soft limestone it's an example limestone is easy to cut into 
blocks. It is used in making roads, buildings and in manufacturing of sea milks. Now this is all about sedimentary rocks. Now let's take metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed by the transformation of igneous and sedimentary rock, a rock that has been changed by heat and pressure. When igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to extreme heat and pressure, they change into metamorphic rocks. For example, slate, quartzite, marble, and gneiss. Let's take it one by one. Marble. Marble is made from sedimentary rock that is limestone. This is the limestone which changes into marble after heat and pressure. Marble is used in making statues and monuments. Taj Mahal is a famous monument in Agra. It's made up of white marble. Next, slate. Slate forms when shale, which is a sedimentary rock, put under some pressure and high temperature. Slate can be split into layers. Black slates are used to make our blackboards and handled with writing tablets. Slates are also used for paving floors and roof tiles. Next is quartzite. Quartzite is, a made, is made from sandstone, which is a sedimentary rock. After high pressure and temperature change, sandstone changes into quartzite. And quartzite is a metamorphic rock. It is used as a decorative material. Crushed quartzite is used in road construction and repair. Next is gneiss. Gneiss is formed from granite. Granite again a sedimentary rock which changes after heat and pressure to gneiss. It has alternating light and dark bands. So this is all about the different types of rock. In this chapter, we have learned about the three main types of rocks that is igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Thank you children. Have a good day.